Hey, Don here. Okay, so I've got my new camera, my quasi 4K Chinese camera hooked up uh, via USB. And uh, I can see just from the videos I've made before and the preview here of this that uh, it's not sending 4K, even it, it's not sending the the quasi 4K. When I say quasi, I mean it's it's not. It's a 13 megapixel chip. That's not anywhere near 4K, but they're using software to try to bump it up, to try to, uh, I forgot, I always forget the right words when I want to say them. <laughs> anyway, to try to bump up the, uh, the video uh, resolution uh, <clears throat> to 4K. Um, but when you plug, I noticed the other day, uh, or a couple of months ago, last time I actually turned this thing on, but uh, I noticed that it, um, um, doesn't it, it doesn't uh, send uh, I can't remember what resolution it is you can after you look at the video you can look at the you know the, the specs of it the uh, in different couple different apps VLC the player will tell you the frame rate the resolution and everything I think it's might be 1080p uh, especially judging by the size of this preview but uh, it well actually it's, uh, this is a GVC view that I'm recording in right now. It, I actually clicked on it by accident. I was going to click on uh, <laughs> OBS Studio and open it up, and I clicked on that instead. And oh, okay, I forgot what the icons look like, but uh, and it looks like the audio is working. I'm using using my SM58 through my Behringer VMP and Behringer Mixer, just like usual. And uh, I just got through talking on Skype to somebody, and I did a test call, and it sounded pretty good, and looked okay on the preview to me so uh, I think the software also has a lot to do with what resolution it, it uh, I guess the top resolution it's capable of picking up but yeah now I made this full screen which would be you know the the the, uh, the full screen of, of my monitor is 1080p basically pretty you know like I think they might call it a little different but in video terms 1080p but it's a pretty grainy it looks about like my two megapixel cameras so it's not uh, sending it's not even trying to send a full 1080p uh, I don't believe through the uh, through the USB cable and I haven't tried the Wi-Fi I don't know if you can I'm, that's what I'm gonna do is try well I'll try out the USB the Wi. I'll try it out through USB, and then hopefully I'll be I'll turn be able to turn on the Wi-Fi and try that out too um, through OB, in OBS Studio. But um, it's really kind of made just to preview it on a phone, so I don't know if uh, if that will work going through uh, to OBS Studio. But I think the the resolution would be much smaller over Wi-Fi anyway, so probably. It would be nice if I could do it wireless because then I could carry this thing as far as the Wi-Fi will reach. But uh, if I wanted to carry it around, but as far as having it sitting on a tripod looking at me, that's USB is the way to go anyway. As, as since you can, probably, I'm sure you can get better quality. But uh, anyway, uh, just a rambling video, uh, just kind of thinking through things. Um, <clears throat> So um, I'll see. I'll see what this video was like in. Uh, oh, I see. The resolution is set in there. I just now realized. I can see the settings. You know of GU, GU VC view, GU VC view. Yeah, uh, it's at thirty frames per second, but its resolution is twelve eighty by seven twenty. So that must be. Well, actually, that's that's the, probably the default for. I'm not sure. I don't use this program a lot anymore. I used to. Oh, that's the highest that you can select. You can either do 640 by 360 or 1280 by 720. That may be, it may have sensed what the camera, yeah, you know, it does sense. I remember now because when I used my really old webcams, it it will show you whatever the webcam can send out. And, uh, <clears throat> and you can change between, <coughs> you know, <laughs> Like I remember one of the webcams will do three resolutions and they're all one will do 640 by something and the other one will do 320 by something um, but one or the other the two old webcams I have they uh, they do uh, 
and sinuses. <clears throat> they, uh, they'll show you three, and I have tried switching them during a video, but I actually think it maybe I think it actually might break the video and stop it or something, so I'm not going to do that right now. But in, uh, in this program, the uh, oh, okay, the device is called Demo One. That's the default name of this camera. Okay, firing rate 30 seconds. It says 30 forward slash one. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Thirty forward slash, you know, th forward slash ones uh, really supposed to mean. Every all programs list things in weird, you know, different ways. It just makes things confusing. And uh, I've always, as this technology came up, I was learning it. Ever since I used to do analog video, you know, back. Uh, I really got started with video uh, video cameras in the early '90s, so I was using, you know. Analog video, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, um, the defaults is what I'm using, and it defaulted to the the biggest available, I guess, from this feed, and then which is 1280 by 720, and then the camera output is YU12 dash YU12, and I have experiment. Some cameras won't work on the default by some of these apps, and you have to, if you switch to different uh, camera output. Uh, I used to know what you called that. Uh, what the, you know, uh, you can do H two sixty four. Oh, it sees that's the first time I remember ever seeing H two sixty four in this list. There's MJPEG, RGB three, RGR three, YU twelve, and then the next one is YU twelve two. Oh, YV twelve. Okay. I bet if I wonder if it would make a better quality video if I switch to H264. That would be interesting. I think I'll stop this one and see what I get out of that. I don't want to do it during the video. I'm pretty sure it'll just break the video. So uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. Okay, I'm going to quit right here. Let me look at the audio controls first. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's using Pulse Audio, Input Device, Built-in Audio, Analog Stereo, Sample Rate, Default, uh, Channels, Default, which would be Stereo. Uh, and there are some effects you can turn on down here, but I don't really want to do that. That makes things well, it makes the computer work too hard. This computer is not that powerful. It's only a quad core with four gig of RAM. All right, let's get uh, go now. <clears throat> 